Some old school Paris from out in Oakland, P Dog. Listen to some old school hip hop when hip hop had some music that had messages, positive messages for our community like that. You know, yeah, we still got, you know, we got J. Cole and Kendrick, they still doing things like that, but I do miss Paris and X Clan and PE and how they got down and the things they used to say that um, are still relevant at this particular point in history. That being said, while I've got you guys here today, I thought I'd do another quick one. I'm looking at this protest that they're doing over in Chicago, shutting down the Dan Ryan Expressway. I think Father Flager is in uh, the one in charge of organizing this, him and some other groups of people. I'm sure Black Lives Matter is involved. Uh, I'm quite sh not sure why they're still involved after, you know, you had some of their Chicago leadership talking about the looting and rioting was reparations. I mean, when you got that type of ridiculous narrative going on, no one's going to take you seriously. And let's go back to when I talked about the definition of insanity is to do the same thing and expect different results. So I think they shut down the Dan Ryan Expressway after the Laquan McDonald case. They shut it down, I believe. Um, I forget what was the other situation that happened. Another one of these police involved shootings and people started protesting they shut down the Dan Ryan I guess to draw attention uh, to what was going on and honestly after all that still no effective change in policy and let me be clear all right Chicago had around like 70 shootings last week last weekend I think about 15 deaths he had this rioting looting going on and what y'all decided to do today is shut down the Dan Ryan Expressway, people going to their jobs or going to visit family in other places. And y'all think that that's going to, I don't know, help your movement, help your cause. Amazing, the stupidity that I see there, the lack of actual leadership and thinking. Let me say this much. Look, people, it's very easy. You want police reform is what you say. Got it. What you really want is the police to do their job in your communities and to do it respecting the citizens in your community. This is, I'm gonna give y'all a little plan. This way, I'm, 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 I'm gonna help y'all out. I want you to go, if you're gonna protest, go protest City Hall, talk to your mayor, because step one, understand that the Chicago Police Department ultimately is um, reporting to the mayor of the city of Chicago. She ultimately controls them. Number two, you as citizens of the city of Chicago who voted this mayor in should be holding this mayor accountable. Now I'm going to give y'all a pass because perhaps y'all don't sit around thinking about public policy like I do. I'm going to give you a pass on that one. So here's what you should be asking her for. One, you should ask her to hire more black police officers. Let me explain why. Not that white police officers can't do the job. They, they do the job every day. But you want more people, black people, uh, as police officers because black people tend to understand black people a little bit better culturally. And let's be clear, there is a different culture. When you're looking at an inner city community or predominantly black community, it is a different culture than a Chinese community or a Mexican community. If I were a police officer and you put me in the middle of Chinatown and say, hey, this is where you're going to work, I would have to do a few things. I'd have to learn some Chinese, obviously. I'd have to learn about the customs and courtesies of people in that community. I'd have to probably involve myself in some of the schools and churches and temples or places of worship of people in those communities, some of the non-for-profit centers, cultural centers, and get to know the people in order to effectively serve and protect them. And that way I get to know the kids in the neighborhood. I get to know who's on stuff, who's not. I get to know the parents. If something jumps off, I can talk to the parents without necessarily getting the kid a criminal case unless it's something extremely serious. But in any case, number one, ask your mayor for more black police. Number two, ask your mayor for police to actually be present in the community. Walking the beat, going to these schools. There's things, there's things I said that I would have to do if I went to Chinatown and was uh, going to work there as a police officer. This is what you want these police officers to do. That way, 
if you got white cops or Asian cops or Latino cops coming from different areas, maybe getting hired from suburbs, if they know that's an expectation, that means they really want to do that job. They really want to help the community. You know, um, is what it's just because you necessarily black doesn't mean you necessarily want to help the community. So you want officers, I don't care what color they are, that actually want to serve the community of people that they're being, that they're policing. All right. And then um, I would ask your mayor, you know, to have the FOP leadership and the community leadership in Chicago sit down and talk about the problems, the historical problems between police and the African-American community in urban centers like Chicago and then work that out. That's what you really want to do. But shutting down the Dan Ryan, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. You know, it's a waste of time. You know, y'all, I guess y'all feel good about yourself after y'all do it. I guess you feel like you've done something instead of actually doing something. So why don't you actually do something and protest who you need to protest, your mayor, and your aldermen, hold them accountable because, again, the police are ultimately beholden to them. You know, um, pretty simple. All right. So I gave you all a formula. You take it for what it is. You know, everyone else have a nice day. I obviously need to avoid the Dan Ryan today. Peace.